Well, in the studio this evening, we have the original rock and roller, the founder of Glam Rock, Mark Bolan and his lovely wife, Gloria. Hello, Mark. Hello. Hello. It's great of you to come down. Yes. Now, Mark, you've just uh, completed uh, a tour, which uh, is your first tour for two years. Yep. I've been away for, I think, it's nearly two and a half years. I've been back on and off, but we'll talk about that later. But, mm. uh, yeah, we just finished it, and it was really a gas. We did four weeks on the road. Mm. And uh, What sort of venues did you take in? Uh, we did In London, we did the Lyceum. What I wanted to do, I kept most of them pretty small, about 3,000 seaters, you know, um, because I, I'm trying to get away from... Uh, we did Wembley and all those places before, and that big hollow sound. I tried to get nearer to the kids this time, mm. and uh, I did an acoustic set, which is nice. I did Deborah and all the old numbers, you know. Yeah. Um, and I really just wanted to get back to what music is about for me and, and play for the fans, to be quite honest. Because you haven't played in England for... Well, for two years. For really. two years. You've yeah. been away in America. Yeah, well, basically, I'll tell you what, what it was about. was um, I felt at the end of 1974 that we'd had about 14 hits then, you know, and I felt I was kind of becoming a hit machine. Mm. And every three months I was putting a single out and it was expected of me. Um, so you consciously, deliberately yeah, put it out? I, yeah, I wanted to get out of it because I was being stuck alongside David Cassidy and Donny Osmond and that. And there's nothing wrong with that, believe me, they're all nice people. In fact, you had Cassidy on the other week, David. Mm, yeah, he's, he's, a nice, he's a nice man, right? But, uh, I mean, Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is the original T-Rex name, started in 67. And I initially was an underground act or an album act, you know? And I kind of felt that, I mean, uh, my songs uh, in particular weren't anything like puppy love. You know, I mean, so I thought I, thought I was getting, I thought I was getting lumbered w with being. I, I mean, I enjoy being a teenage idol. Don't get me wrong, I adore it, and I love it when the kids, you know, uh, show their appreciation. But I did feel that um, I was uh, wrongly being segregated into um, being. Uh, as you say, the innovator of glam yeah. rock, which is which is cool. I know what you yeah. mean. You, you were looking for a respect as a musician, really. Well, well, I started out having respect mm, as a musician, yeah. and I could see myself losing yeah. the, the respect. See, the most important thing about me is I, I don't care about, about critics, you know. Um, but fortunately for me, people like Lennon, Bob Dylan, and various other people like my music, and mm. they respect my words, you know. And um, it's it's kind of like I, I felt that if I continued doing that. And the, all the records, that, believe me, all the singles I've made I enjoyed, but I was getting to the point, I think it was about Truck on Tyke, one of those records, when I was beginning to realise that I was really into a formula. Hmm. And I had to stop that. So I took a year off. I went to America. I lived in Monte Carlo for a while. And you didn't work at all? No, I did nothing, nothing but just sit back, watch videos, just really be a punk, you know. Yeah, I'd yeah. be lazy. A street you know. punk. Right, a street punk. I mean, I just laid back and enjoyed um, what, what was left of my wealth. I mean, I'm well skint now, I'll tell you. Oh, I, I don't believe it. It's true, no, because what happens, I, le I left England on, 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 on to get away from the tax thing, as we were talking mm. about. Um, you know, cause most, uh, I mean, it's hard for the kid in the street to understand, but a uh, pop star gets taxed about 95%. Mm. Um, so consequently, though, I, mean, I, I left and went all around the world trying to avoid paying tax and found out I'd spent all the money I had anyway. Mm. So I needn't have bothered. <laughs> <laughs> But if you come back, it, you, you presumably have to pay the back tax anyway. I'm sure I do. I mean, I can't worry about that anymore. I mean, I'm just... Uh, the reason we did this tour was I decided that, I mean, uh, fortunately, you know, um, the first record I put out after all that time was New York City, mm. which would be nice to hear if we can play a bit later. And that was like my... Uh, that was a big hit. My comeback record, yeah, and mm. it, was, it was a huge record, right. Mm. So it proved that the fans didn't forget me. Mm. Uh, and unfortunately, I mean, they seem to have forgotten... Um, Donnie and David, which is, you know... Yeah. Uh, but I could see that happening to me, Simon. I just... God bless them, man. I'm still here.